Olivia, welcome to Lainey's Crafting Creations. Um, today, uh, well, I'll start it today. I'm going to do a pyramid. So there'll probably be a few pours that I'll need to do. I am using epoxy cast, which is blowing out in the picture. So I'm just going to do um, a bit of a water sink. So tonight I'll just do, or today I'll just do the tip. And I've just got a little bit of this fluffy batting stuff that I might put in there just to pretend to be like a cloud. And then I do have some starfish that I got, but when they came, the, I, I don't even know if there's any that are still in one piece, but I'll just, I'll just get the tip done today anyway, and then I'll start to work out what I'll do with the next layers. I haven't thought about it too much yet. Okay, I'll put my mask back on. I've mixed some resin here, um, which is degassing, but I'll probably mix it again, so I'll put my mask on. Uh, and I've got a couple of other projects over here that I'll just use the leftover of what I don't need today. Okay, so it's resin's degassed a bit, so I'm just going to drop a little bit at the bottom and then I'll poke around. Um, I've got a skewer here that I'll just poke around to make sure there's no bubble in the tip and then I'll pour a bit more once it's settled. Let that sit. Hopefully any micro bubbles will come up to the surface. And then I'll put my little bit of cloud in there. Okay, that's settled down quite a bit, so I'll just take my little bit of fluff here and hopefully it will work. I'm hoping you can actually see it and it looks fluffy inside, but experiment, so we'll see. Okay, well, I won't know if that works until we're right at the end, of course. Okay, I'll leave that there and I'll bring you back for the next step. Hi there, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to carry on with my pyramid, of course. Um, what I did off screen after this lot of resin was sitting for a while, so it was still slightly tacky, um, I just poked the end of my skewer in here just to give it some kind of texture, but I don't know that you'll be able to see really anything in there. And I thought I might just try to use some white paint, go into where the texture is to hopefully look like waves breaking at the top of the water. So I will just putting a really little amount on my paintbrush because I'm hoping I'm not going to ruin it with this. Okay, I'll just leave it at that and hopefully 
that comes across like what it's supposed to or what I have in my mind. And what I'm going to do next is heat up my glue gun and I've got this cute whale. It's actually, you can't see it but it's quite speckly and cool and I thought I would have that so that it's just below these waves so if I glue it so that's kind of coming up to the surface and then when I pour the next lot of resin it'll just be the rest of it will be slightly blue just depicting the water so I will plug in my glue gun and get that done and I'll bring you back shortly I've had a change of thought I think I might just um, Put a blob of UV resin and put my whale in that way. So you won't be able to see for a second, but I'll show you once it's cured what I've done. Okay, so he is in there on an angle coming up to the surface. So I'll mix up my um, deep pour resin and I'll come back. I'm just going to test using some mica powder just in a little bit of resin here like the tiniest bit of blue and the tiniest bit of green because of course alcohol ink can fade if, if, a, if the pyramid sits in the sun so I thought I would just do the tiniest little bit and see how that mixes through the resin to test whether that's what I'll do for the water portion look quite nice because it's quite delicate kind of colour. It's quite sparkly. So I think that would work. It shouldn't take away from being able to see everything. So I'll pull some more into this so I I'm not sure if I will use all of it or not, so that's why I'm putting it into a different cup. Because I've got some projects that need clear resin, not coloured. more 
I still don't want too much because I don't want it to take over and not be able to see. This is a nice sparkle. It looks dark in the container, but I'm thinking that's just because it's all kind of, you know, it's looking quite deep. Okay, I'll pour a little bit in and then I'll do some um, ice pro alcohol just to catch any bubbles. I can't do that at the moment because I might lift that paint that's in there. And now what I'll do, because I have mixed that quite a bit, I'll just let that sit. Let the mica powder sit and this sit, just to heat all that, the bubbles up, before I introduce more. And I am contemplating putting a drop of um, blue alcohol in, because it is quite light. But there's a fine line between a little bit and not being able to see the fish. So we'll just do one drop of Baja Blue. this new colour in there just to blend it out a bit.
bit more clear. I can go two inches, so I think I've got a bit more room I can put in here. I made up 300 mils, so I haven't quite used all of that. Because I think that'll be the last amount that I put in here. Okay, now I do have a scuba diver that I've got to go search out. Because I may put him at the bottom here, I might have to dangle him. So that he can be at the bottom kind of swimming up towards the whale. So I'll bring you back in a second. So we've got this scuba diver. I've also got this little turtle, but might be a bit much, so I'll use the scuba diver. But it's quite good, they have this little plastic stick, and you can't see it under the resin. So I'll be able to use that to um, kind of set him where I want him. be able to do that and then attach him to something but I might just use UV resin on him so that I know that it stays in there. Just put that sticking in there. Okay, so I'll just put a blob of UV on there. Okay, it's well attached there. Then what I'll have to do is decide where I want him to be because I will need him to be submerged because I'm not I won't be able to mix that same colour of resin for any more water. So it's gonna to have to be in there but I'll have to attach him to something to dangle him in there. So I'll come back to you because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Okay. So what I've done is just got some electrical tape that I've attached to the plastic. I've got my gloves off for now because I'm not going to put them back on before I touch resin. And I will have to find where I need that and then place this over top and just tape it and hope like he kicks goes. He's quite close to the bottom. I'll bring you down for a close-up and hopefully you'll be able to see a bit better because of course you all you can see is stick. Okay, so here it is. It's definitely under the ribbon, but his flippers are only just under. And I think it should Work really. 
Let's see. And then what I'll do is just snip off this plastic, the plastic rod. Okay, so I'll leave this here. I'll carry on with my other projects. And now, that puts it all heavy on that just so it sits a bit of space to run under. When I come back, you'll see the next stage. Hi there, welcome back. Uh, it's been about a week since I poured this. Um, I'm going to take this guy off and hopefully be able to cut this little plastic bit off. Got my resin heating up in front of the heater because it's quite a cold day. And I've got some sand here that I'll mix up with the resin shortly. And then I've just got a couple of wee um, starfish. I bought some off AliExpress quite a long time ago and this is what arrived. So they're all smashed, broken. I think I've used four that were in one piece and the rest are all this. So I've pulled out the next best, which is there's three of them there that I'll show you. And just a couple of wee shells. So I thought I might use UV resin and maybe scatter them over here. And hopefully the UV can still get round the side and that kind of thing. And that way when the sand goes on in my head, you should still be able to see the shells, but they'll be sitting on the sand. That's my theory. So I'll just put my mask back on because I just took it off for a wee second. And I'll start seeing if I can remove this here. easy, I just need to snip it. Okay. Get my blue babies in. I'll give this other one a stir that I'm going to mix around heating. So this took quite a few days to cure because it was um, the deep pour resin and it was quite, I think I did just a little bit more than what it said you should do. So I've just got 90 millilitres of resin mixed up for uh, the sand, although I'm going to steal a little bit of it. I've got a um, shell that I was working on as wee fish pond, so I just need to do a layer over top of that, so I might steal some out of it first. I'll see how I go. Okay, so I've just got three of these shells because I thought they need to be small, otherwise they'll look a bit silly. And I figure to keep this guy all by himself, I'm just going to put them, them in the starfish over here. I'll see by the first one whether it will actually be successful and then I can just change my tack if I need to. So as you can see, it's not a perfect starfish because it's been somewhat damaged, but it should still look pretty.
Ça va aussi le bon. Yeah. Alright, so I'll mix it. I think I will just use this whole resin to put the sand in. I can always mix some more for my other project. So what I've got is sand I collected from the beach. I've used it a few times, but I think I got it about two years ago, so it should be all pretty dry. putting some white pearl mica powder on there like this actually goes a bit brownish and I did try putting alcohol in, in another one but you kind of got a layer of white that rose to the top whereas I think maybe mica powder would mix in with it so I'll give it a go See the mica powder in there. This will be covered with the next layer anyway. Babysitting this because I think doubles will keep coming up throughout the day. Thank you. 
can put that ice cream. So you said you were going to take hours. I did. Love you, bye. Okay, I'll leave that there and I'll just keep popping back, making sure I don't get stuck with any bubbles. Actually, what I'll quickly do is just run down the corners where they can be hurt. Welcome back, I've just, uh, it's the next day, so the sand is nice and hard now. I did notice two bubbles, so what I've done is just poked the skewer in there because it's still slightly soft, so that hopefully the next layer of resin will just fill those and it won't have holes on the sides. I am going to put a layer of these stones, so it's just fish pond, fish tank stones. But I've learnt from one other one that I made is that don't put the resin first and then the stones, otherwise you end up with a whole lot bigger area than what you were thinking. So I'm going to put a little bit of resin down just so that they're sitting on resin first and then I'll just pour over once I've decided how many stones I want in there, what height. So just checking if my resin's warming up. It is. I'll put my mask back on and carry on. I've mixed 90 mils again, which is what I did for this last layer. But of course with the stones being in there, it's going to come up a little bit. And I'll reason this still slightly soft. That's okay, it's not going to matter. Okay, so I'll put some alcohol in first. Sit. And I'll let it sit on here for a bit too because I did just go straight from stirring it into here. What I'll do is get some of these stones into a cup. I normally have a bag of them washed and ready to go so I think that they could be a bit dirty but if I wash them, then it'll take days for them to dry properly. I'm pretty sure all the bubbles have come out of this one, so I'll pour some stones in there. happy with that. I'll just pour a bit of resin on top. I don't need it to be covered or anything because whatever layer I come in with, it'd be quite cool to have the kind of um, shape of the stones going there anyway.
Okay, I think that's enough for that layer. Hi there, welcome back. We're on to hopefully the last stage. So what I've done is just piled some stones in here, but they're purely just to make the resin kind of fill up the gaps more. So you won't see them. I'm going to mix uh, black mica and some interference blue to go around this and of course hopefully it's going to fill it all up i'm not sure how much i mixed i can't actually remember but i've got a good amount of resin so i think with the stones it should work otherwise i'll just mix some more and fill it in so i'll put my mask back on and i will get these micas added Okay, so I'll add some interference blue. I love when this colour hits black, it just looks so good. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more black in here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm not too worried about these stones on the bottom because I'm not going to see them. I just don't want it to make it unlevel, so I'm just kind of pushing them around. I'm not sure yet if I'll do like a black or something after all this, or if this will be the final one. This will either be the last one or I may do a black. 
with a safe. So if we open that, that will be the whole pyramid. Okay, back soon. Hi there, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to demold the pyramid. So I did after my last, um, I think it was the blue layer on rocks, I decided to do a black layer, but I'm not going to fill it right up to the top. So I am going to demold now. Moment of truth. to do these edges they're quite sharp stabbing me I don't think my cloud really worked because it just looks like bubbles I think there's too much mica the waves didn't work it's not horrible it's just I would have liked to have been able to see through it better It's still pretty cute. It does use a lot of resin though, so I just don't know. So the shelves, you can see them. They did come through pretty clear. And then the different layers. Is, there is a lot of detail so I'll take some photos once it's light it's actually just starting to get light so I'll put some photos in as well I should not have put as much mica powder in here and I think this um, the fluffy batting stuff actually created some bubbles because that was really clear with no bubbles but it's just f full of the tiniest little micro bubbles and the painting of the waves they just look I don't know they don't look like what I pictured anyway the water does look cool because you can see movement in it so the mica powder is doing the movement but yeah just and it's cool that you can see the shadow of the the guy that's diving So yeah, I'll take some still photos so you can see better detail. But that's our pyramid. Thanks so much for watching. 